Welcome back to Steve's World of Wonders. This is part two of my opening mail that I collected uh, over 2018 and 2019. Uh, hopefully you'll find this enjoyable. I've been enjoying opening things up. Uh, let's see what the next, pa next package is. Without further ado. Alright. Uh, it's an envelope. Let me get my let me get my trusty alligator letter opener. Look at that stamp. Oh, it's a space stamp. What is that? The Apollo 11. I believe that I believe the top of that Apollo 11 used to be at the. Uh, Museum of Science and Technology. Oh, uh, hey, this is exciting. This is a vintage postcard. This is a postcard from somewhere I haven't been. Uh, the Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum in St. Augustine, Florida collection of curio and original drawings of the late Robert L. Ripley postcard. That's cool. If you know my channel and you know me, you know what that I like. Ripley's Believe It or Not, you know that I like museums. You know that I like vintage postcards. So that's a cool thing to get in the mail. I sent myself these things. I bought them online uh, <clears throat> just as a, a treat to myself. And uh, instead of opening them, I thought, oh, maybe I'll let them pile up and I'll do a video one day where I, uh, where I open them all. <laughs> uh, so here's another, another uh, piece of mail. I like I like getting mail from like eBay and stuff because you get all these cool different stamps and stuff on these packages. I can't show the addresses. So let's open this one up. See what I got here. I keep the stamps for my sister. She collects stamps. She and she's not she's not uh specific uh, she's not a specific collector of uh pristine stamps or anything she she's fine with uh used stamps so i think she'll like these what is this oh what is this oh it's another ripley's believe it or not postcard is there anything else in here and it's got uh, some people with astounding physical features on the front. This gentleman can turn his head backwards. I just saw a thing recently uh, about him on the internet. Can turn his head all the way back. People thought his photo was photoshopped. But no, he could do that. And this gentleman, what's his specialty? Oh, it looks like he can turn his feet all the way around. I'm not sure. His name is Demetrio Ortiz. So I'll have to, I'll have to look that up. If you know more about these folks, you can maybe put some info in uh, the comment section because I'm always, I always like to know more about these kind of things. I'm sure other people would too. A Century of Progress, official postcard of Ripley's Believe It or Not Auditorium, 1934. Oh, I better be careful with this. I was like bending it and stuff. This is a, a really vintage postcard. Hmm. That's neat. Maybe I'll. Oh, where do I put? I'll put that here. All right. This is fun so far. 
this one's shipped from Canada. Oh, I opened it already. And I was like, probably like, oh, I should save that for my video, but I don't remember what it is. A little piece of cardboard here. Taped up. This is, this is fun. This is like treasure. Uh, these are all things I found on eBay or Amazon that I thought were a good price. I, I never bought anything expensive. I can't afford that. These are just treats for myself. Ah, oh, awesome. Take a look at that. Can I focus on that? Is it focusing? How do you do that? Like that. That's a Frontier Town Deputy Sheriff's Badge. I had one of these when I was a kid. And I was thinking about how much I enjoyed those trip, that trip to a Frontier Town. I went there twice, I think. My parents took me there. That's in the United States in the Adirondacks, I think. New York State and uh, it's an Old West uh, themed amusement park where they have shootouts and they take you on a stagecoach ride and pretend to rob the stagecoach and as a kid you're really scared because you thought it was a real robbery and your mom would hand them peppermints <laughs> when they ask for money anyways <laughs> That's, uh, now I'm a sheriff. This is a lot of fun. All right, I know what this item is. I know what this item is. This is a record, and I know what record because it's the only record I um, ordered. And I'm excited about it because it's, awesome. it's gonna be awesome. This is from Third Man Records from Jack Blake. And, but no, it's not the White Stripes. It's not Jack White singing. I'll show you what it is. Let's open this up. I wonder if I can open it with this. Without wrecking the record. Oh wait, is there a pull tab or something? Oh, here's the flap. I'm like super excited. Oh, it's really, it's some of that sticky stuff. Without bending the record. This is, it's, I've been wanting to listen to this. Um, so I, I hope you're the, I hope you're the type of people who, uh, who are, who like to learn about new music and stuff like that. Because maybe you're not interested, maybe you are. But uh, this is this is one of my favorite musicians of all time. Leon Redbone. He passed away just last year. Uh, sadly, uh, we lost a music legend. Um, he was so well versed in American music history, old time songs like by Hoagie Carmichael, written by Hoagie Carmichael and people like that. I'm not well versed in it, but I know I like this guy's music. And this is a long way from home, a long way from home, the early recordings of. Leon Redbone, and I am looking forward to this. So I'm going to maybe put on a few samples for you guys to hear and see if uh, maybe you'd be interested in expanding your music horizons. Maybe not. Maybe you don't care for this type of thing, but We'll see. Well, I'll just play a few small pieces. 
This is a beautiful album cover that they've got. Great art, great photos. Look how they've got his photo looking like he's he's uh, drawing the uh, tracks, track listing. And it's got a great gatefold picture here. The fact that he started his music in Canada too, in Toronto, it's pretty cool as well. So let's listen to a couple short clip selections so that there's no copyright issue. I'll just play a short little sample of why I like Leon Redbone and pretty cool artwork. So that was a little sample of Leon Redbone, uh, one of my favorite musicians of all time. So I'm going to do one or two more packages. All right, so I'm going to do one more package and see what's inside here. I've got quite a lot more in the file here, so this uh, this package opening will continue in another video. Let's see what we have. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Wow. I don't. I don't even remember ordering this. Oh, wow. It's brochures. If anyone knows me, or my dad, we like brochures. We like looking through them, figuring out where we want to go. And I like vintage brochures. They just, uh, I don't know, something about them I really like, so. I must have ordered these. Oh wow. Uh, this bag is weird. How, what am I? What is this little flap? Uh, okay, I'm just gonna peel it open. Oh wow. This one's old. 25 cents. The original Josephine Tussauds or Tussauds? I think it's Tussaud. It might be Tussaud because is it a Fr is she French? I can't remember Tussaud. Uh, famous wax museum. Oh, this is oh this isn't from London. It's just called London Wax Museum because it's Josephine Tussaud of of London. And I guess they had figures from London there. Uh, but this is St. Petersburg, Florida. Souvenir guidebook. Cool. There's George Washington as sculpted in wax by Madame Tussaud. Or is Josephine Madame Tussaud or is that a relative? Excuse me for a moment while I read this brochure. Don't mind, don't mind me, just go about your business. There's 
Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins sculpted in wax. This is a great little guidebook to go through. I love looking at info about these old museums. Oh, okay, this is Josephine Tussaud. That isn't, that is not Madame Tussaud. Because this is, Madame Tussaud was not around for Frankenstein, I don't think. I think she's from, I think this must be her granddaughter or daughter, I don't know. I can read up on it now and find out. So, wow, that's cool. Let's look at what else I got before I get too carried away. Wikiwachi. That's an attraction that's still around. It's been around for a long time. It's got mermaids. They put on a mermaid show underwater. They've got an underwater theater and they breathe through these little tubes and they do little choreographed dances. You can see the audience there watching the show. I've never been there. I'd like to. I'd, I love tourist traps so that would be cool to see. I mean tour. I mean oops. Tourist places. Tackier the better. Here's another museum brochure, wax museum. That's the person who had two pupils, two irises in each eye. And another brochure for the same museum, all from different time periods, I suppose. Oh, and this was changed to Louis Tussaud. You can see some of the some of the figures in that museum. I've never been to any of these places. Uh, I grew up. Uh, my parents would take me quite often to Niagara Falls. And, they had wax museums and attractions like this there. That's where I, I gained a kind of a, a liking to these sorts of things. Yeah, so that was a nice last package to open for this installment of Steve opening his mail that he saved up for two years. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I know I did. Lots of cool things to look through and look at. Um, I might uh, take you through some of the things in another video where I, I go through all my brochures or something like that. So you might see some of these items again down the line. Anyways, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos from Steve's World of Wonders. And a way you can do that is to hit the subscribe button or hit the notification bell. You'll be notified of more videos like this or videos where I walk around all over the place or who knows what I'll post online to my channel I shouldn't be touching my face it's, uh, this was filmed during the uh, COVID virus <laughs> outbreak uh, oh yeah and these are safe to touch with bare hands because these were all shipped way before the virus started so should be good to go Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye for now.